Orthogonal trajectories. An orthogonal trajectory of a family of curves is a curve that intersects each curve of the family orthogonally, and that is at right angles. If you can take a look at figure 7. Now, for instance, each member of the family y equals mx of straight lines through the origin is an orthogonal trajectory of the family x squared plus y squared equals r squared of concentric circles with center, the origin, as you can see in figure 8. Now, we say that the two families are orthogonal trajectories of each other. In example number 5, we want to find the orthogonal trajectories of the family of curves x equals k times y squared, where k is an arbitrary constant. So for step number one, we know that this formula is a family of parabolas whose axis of symmetry is the x-axis. In step two, what we want to do is we want to differentiate. So the diff uh, we get one, which is equal to two times k times y times dy over dx. And now isolating dy over dx, we're going to divide both sides by 2 times k times y. And then what we're doing is we're just, uh, just reordering. So we have dy dx on the left side. On the right side is 1 over 2 times k times y. So now here what we want to do is we want to be able to then substitute what we have at the beginning here. So here on this family of curves, we can solve for k. And by solving for k, we're going to get x over y squared. And so then we're going to substitute k to be x over y squared in step 3. And then we can simplify. So by simplifying, we end up getting dy over dx, which is equal to y over 2x. And what this means is that the slope of the tangent line at the point x, y on one of the parabolas is y prime, which is equal to y divided by 2x. Now, the key thing here is that an orthogonal trajectory, the slope of the tangent line must be the negative reciprocal of this slope. And therefore, the original uh, orthogonal trajectories must satisfy the differential equation. So now we would have dy over dx, which is equal to negative 2x over y. And now what we can do is then we can take the integral. Well, first, we're going to multiply both sides by dx and y, so we get y dy, which is equal to negative 2x dx, and then we're going to integrate both sides. So now we're uh, to find the antiderivative of y, which is y squared over 2, which is equal to the antiderivative of x is 1 half x squared, multiplied by the 2 just gives you negative x squared plus c. And therefore, this is equation number 4, x squared plus y squared over 2 equals c, where c is an arbitrary positive constant. And there you can see the orthogonal trajectories are the family of the ellipses given by the equation 4 and sketched in figure 9.